Hey, everybody. Just remember to leave some energy to drive home. Welcome hey, everybody. Welcome to, to the D-Pad. Welcome to the D-Pad. I'm John. I'm Rick. I'm Ian. I haven't left yet. Yay. I'm fighting with my fighting fighter. Yeah. He's going to fight him. He's lost the ability to bite things. He did. He, so he, he can cannot fight, eat. but he can't bite. He cannot eat oh, or chew. Sonic Boom. Blech. Oh, I guess I don't have to be that con like terrified of Sonic Boom anymore, but Sonic it's still yeah, it's way more damage you. than anything else they can do right now to me because I'm a higher level. Yes, but Ian, it still doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Did you decide what you want to do with your life yet? <laughs> uh, <Yikes>. In what way? <laughs> I don't know where you want to live, what you want to do, what you want to do school, what you want to, who you want to be. No, all right. <laughs> I have decided literally none of those things. Like, Makes you feel better. You I'm six years older than you, and I too am yeah, feeling the I same. Yeah, I mean, do you ever really like? Well, that's maybe the problem with us, Ben. Maybe we should just d decide. That is definitely a thing. That <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the D pad. If I, it, yeah, <laughs> it's like honestly, if if YouTube doesn't work out for me, then fucking I'm just doing you know various web jobs, man. Web developing is not that bad a gig. No, no, no. It's actually full disclosure. If you can get the right kind of job as a web developer, it is a thoroughly sweet gig. Yeah, absolutely. It pays kind of like well to a point that it makes me feel wrong that it can get paid that much. <laughs> Great English. <laughs> I mean, he's a web developer, not an English teacher, yeah. right, bitches? <laughs> but no, you can. If you learn web dev, you can definitely make a pretty giant chunk of cash if you if you find the right jobs. Wish I knew that earlier. What's it's that? Too late. <laughs> Two no, of I your know. best can teach you web dev. Do it. I, know, yeah. I know. And you'd be good at it. I'm gonna say, I, like, John and I are what sixty percent of. <laughs> more than that. Yeah. <laughs> The web dev faculty of the school. <laughs> I think we've taught. I think the two of us have taught eighty to eighty-five percent of that cur of the yeah, uh, one class's group, curriculum yeah. Yeah. over the last what eight months, nine months. And it's not just like we know web dev. We're, our job is to teach people web dev. Back. Yeah. And um, you're smart. And you're good with computers. And I, really your brain not, is good at like, Pokemon, which means that you could be. A yeah. Programmer. Being able to. <laughs> being able right, to think that's a little bit of a true leap. fact. <laughs> like, well, no, being no, able actually, to think analytically like, like that animals, is a major. You'd be good boom. at web dev. <laughs> but no, you're like, oh well, it has a high base stat and has this ability, yeah. and it uses a special attack, and it's I like you're a defensive having, type. And having like, an analytical mind and a, and a mind for complex systems is an enormous <sighs> boon when it comes to. I actually struggled with it when I first started because I am more of like a duh the sky kind of thinker. Um, <laughs> I don't know. And so doing those kind of things, there's our didn't title: come as duh the sky, duh the sky. I like it. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it is, like, if there's a game that I'm into, and yeah. I, like, read about it and learn about the mechanics and stuff like that, like, I, like, spend a lot of time I think that's why I researching like that kind of stuff. Is so. because it kind of feels like, like, you have to learn the mechanics of a game, and then you can do... We should make a video game about the web. <laughs> <laughs> we could. <laughs> I actually had this idea a long time web ago. Surfers. When I was in college, I had an idea for a video game that took place in a college, basically. But, like, the idea was to, ha to have it be... I, di I didn't know that if I wanted it to be, like, an MMO-style thing, but I wanted it to be one where you, you your character is a college student and you choose your major and you do stuff related to that and, like, the, the plot of the game changes based on what major you're picking. So you un unravel different pieces of a larger plot and, like, you learn how to fight different ways based on that stuff. So, like, if you're a film major, you can, like, use, you know, a boom mic as a bow staff and stuff like that. <laughs> like, just crazy shit. And, like, uh, okay, Rick. math majors and physics major majors are basically, like, wizards of various kinds. And they're just manipulating the, the world idea. around you and stuff. I am a neuroscience and biology double major. What do I get? Let's see. As a bio, as Tele a bio you'd probably get... You could probably white man. Oh no, telekinesis and druid powers. Bio yeah, yeah. Biochemistry would be like a yeah. Druid is probably a, a really good one in there. Um, what about neuroscience? Might be one for that. For neuroscience, that's Tele probably. Uh, let's see. For neuroscience, I feel like it'd be either like a charm style thing where you can manipulate, like hmm. puppet master style, other hmm. people or. What about um. Hmm. What if you just like kind of dicked around in college for a little bit and then dropped out? You'd, you'd become a lot of different things, but you wouldn't get <laughs> proficient at any one thing. I <laughs> thought of that, actually. I did think of that. You would be basically become, you'd, yeah, you'd basically be a red mage. Yeah. 
<laughs> Which is, for what it's worth, my favorite <laughs> Final Fantasy class. Yeah, I do. Oh, if you fail at college, you're actually a fucking badass. <laughs> you don't have to multitask or multi class in the guarantee. Well, I mean, yeah. the idea would be <laughs> as you stay in one major for long enough, it'd be an exponential gain. So the longer you stick with it, the better the results are, as opposed yeah. to three things for the same I mean, amount of time. That's how Red Mage is always going to work. Yeah. So, I mean, there's definitely a, the drawback of doing a few things would be the total amount of stuff that you can use at your disposal is less, despite the time being the same. But you have access to more things. How about, uh, like, the arts and graphic design? Uh, the arts, I had, a, I had an idea in mind. I think one of them, Bards. like, sculpt, like, sculpt, uh, like, fine art would probably be, uh, like, a summoner, where you can basically build, uh, <coughs> excuse me, build the things you're summoning. Hmm. Out of like you know you're literally sculpting stuff or painting stuff and it comes to life. Here's another question for you. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting a master's in marine sciences. Okay, you are the Aquaman. <laughs> you get to ride a manatee into battle always. <laughs> That's so threatening. Hey, if you <laughs> ran into a manatee in the wrong situation, a manatee is an underwater up. pillow, man. There's no. <laughs> I'm thinking of a walrus. Those guys will fuck you up. They will yeah. fuck you up. Walruses are. <laughs> Fucking brutal. They yeah. are brutal. Do you know those tusks are for like getting? Killing. No, they're for like. It's like killing, yes, but it's like a they, really graphic form of killing. Well, they're goring you and they tear your organs. I think out they of like you. yeah for polar bears though. They're like on top of a polar bear. They cave in its chest and like use that to rip out. Oh, his, oh god, it's like really something terrible. Nature is it's fucking Walter amazing <laughs> when you get yeah. to the level of like how animals have evolved to kill each other. It really makes me feel useless and insignificant. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> and amazing we, we, that are, we are the dominant species. Yeah, we don't are, deserve this shit. Humans are all, humans are among the worst at being wild animals by a long shot. Sure. That's why we were like, fuck this, we're changing the game. Yeah, we we <laughs> evolved we evolved evolved big think, thinky brains. <laughs> thinky brains. <laughs> and we just kind of went like, yeah, I guess this works. <laughs> I sometimes feel ashamed that I am the result of millions of years of evolution. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, this like, is all I got, huh? A lot no, of people died I, for you to be here. Yeah. Well, part of the problem is a that lot of people. Currently, none of us in, our room, in the room are living up to our physical potential. Correct. Well, that's I true. I have often thought sure. about, wow, if I like were just to try and survive in the real nature... Yeah, like I would, I would be dead many years ago. Um, like, well, it I depends when you start. That's yeah. for sure. Or if you were used to it and like conditioned and could actually run and could yeah, actually I mean, we're, like we're evolved deal with to the sun. learn yeah. and yes. learn from each other as well. We are a we are a very. If I was not species, a lazy, yeah. fat, almost albino white guy, then <laughs> your brother is whiter <laughs> than you are. If I if we have to look at the difference, uh, maybe actually, it's just the hair. Um, but one of the one of the best things that humans are at. Bes- so there's two things that we're like amazing at. Yeah, it's long distance running, and throwing and catching. That is true. For some reason, we have we have surprisingly strong endurance by comparison to mm. our to our wilder the, brethren. The way that our like all like everything like our butt muscles and ankles are like all spring loaded to like can like yeah. lessen impact. I don't understand that. I feel like the knees were not great. They no knees <laughs> um, knees could use some work. But if it, like sweating is great for long distance running, it keeps yeah. you cool. Keeps you from um, overheating. Basically, your uh, eyebrows and eyelashes keeps the sweat out of your eyes. So it's like all built to do that correctly. And like, what I don't understand is like. Again, like I understand the science of evolution. I think even the neck and shoulders. But I just like don't buy that all of that is the result of evolution. And it's not well, that no, I'm, it's, it's not that I'm saying like because my God created everything no, in this exact way. It's on very a simple with the trunk. Like it's very simple. I think people complicate the idea of how evolution really works. But at the end of the day, it's if you are not at peak performance in order to reproduce, then you die. So you're not able to pass your and genes I on, totally, and that's it. Like totally understand that. But you know what? Yeah. Sweat getting in my eyes is an inconvenience. It's not a life or death situation. Not for it you. Can be. No, no, no. 4,000 years ago, it yeah, would have been. If you're Even chasing still. down your prey and sweat is getting in your eyes and you can't see, then you can't see. Then you go hungry and die. <laughs> like, Mr. I, Bushy, living in, the, living in the cave two blocks pl- blocks north, he's got big old fuzzballs on his face, and he has no trouble hunting at all. Yeah. And all the ladies are like, that guy brings home the bacon. Yep. I, I get Literally. it. I get it. I just it, it seems like it's almost too clean of an explanation sometimes. No, it's it's true. Um, I um, get again, it's not like I'm saying because, like, you know, the aliens created us <laughs> the way they did intentionally. It's not that yeah. either. It's just that I feel like, you know, or like fingernails. I was, oh, you got real close to where I was going to go with it. <laughs> I'm like, my, my biggest confusion over evolution is... Uh, unique, unique markers. 
like finger like fingerprints yeah. uh iris prints. oh i don't think that's an intentional thing i think that's a well obviously not intentional you know what i mean i think it's a bug not a feature oh i would agree it's just it's very bizarre that that we have i more or less proven that it's virtually unique the odds of any two people sharing a fingerprint is like of it's, sharing it one fingerprint is like trillions to one basically yeah. uh that's probably actually a, a very liberal guess, too. Identical twins have the same fingerprint, right? No. I don't think so. No, they don't. Really? I don't think so. Huh. I guess that makes sense. Their DNA is very similar. Uh, I don't think their fingerprints are the same, though. You want to look Let's that one check up? check that one. Because I feel like... Yeah. I feel like the answer is no, but... I, I feel like the answer I'm, is yes. I haven't studied this theory yeah. at all, so I, I don't know. Because there's a lot of a popular so the, trope with, so the, with twins is like one will commit a crime and the other one will get will get you know the blame for it or something or get arrested for it or something. But like so like is the problem so identical twins have the same exact blueprint, so yeah. the end product should be pretty close to the same. Mm -hmm. So pretty does close. the fingerprint changing happen at the blueprint phase or at the execution phase? How come we couldn't have these questions when we when, how come we can't have these questions with a twin in the room? Well, but he's not an identical twin. He doesn't. He wouldn't. No, shit. I guess that's fair. Wait, who is the twin? Dustin. Dustin. Dustin and Jana were born on the same day. They're fraternal twins. Oh, I don't know that. I forget what like is. You the haven't met Jana, have you? I have not. Is the definition of a fraternal twin literally just not an identical twin? Yeah, it's okay. twins, but not. Yeah, and that's any by definition any twins that are uh, male and female pair obviously can't be, can't identical. be identical. I mean. Y I feel like you could make an argument that it's possible, but very like exceptionally rare. That's but I guess genes I guess don't the similarities. Tell the whole story of the of the surface adorning our fingertips. Instead, the details are influenced by random stresses experienced in the womb. Even mm. a slightly different umbilical cord length changes your paw print, your fingerprint. I think they mean. <laughs> this is a really uh, terribly written article. What kind of site are you on, John? <laughs> Live science beta. <laughs> well, well yeah, we gotta wait. We gotta have to wait for them to roll out the real New York site, Times man. Health. That might That's be That's a good call. <laughs> or just search fingerprint on Wikipedia. Identical twins often share personality traits, interests, and habits. They come from the same fertilized egg and share the same genetic blueprint. To a standard DNA test, they're indistinguishable, but any forensics expert will tell you that there is at least one surefire way to tell them apart. They do not have matching fingerprints. Okay. Thank you. Fingerprints are science. largely shaped not by a person's of science. <laughs> What's that? I said, thank you, actual science, and not the beta version yeah. of science. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fingerprints are largely shaped by a person's DNA and by a variety of environmental forces. Yeah. Makes sense. So they'll probably be real close, but not yeah. the same. Yeah. Close, but, but not Yeah, no, way. like, it just, it's fascinating. Fingerprints are oh, just yeah. mind-blowing. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, I'm trying to remember if there's other... Oh, tongue prints, I believe, are also supposed to be... Uh, unique. Ugh. It's a good thing they don't take that at the police station. Yeah. <laughs> or the bank if you're cashing Everyone. a check. Could you please lick, could you please plant your tongue into this ink and then onto yeah. your check? Wild uh, oinks. What do you think that crazy, like, non-permanent ink is, exactly? Like have you ever gone to the bank and they have you do, like, a thumbprint on a, on a check? Nope. nope. No? Never seen that happen. Oh, I, I, I have to do that because I have, like, a crazy online bank thing set up. So I go and I cash my check, uh, and then I go and deposit the money. But, like, they'll have me do, like, a thumbprint on the physical check. But, like, it's stuff that wears off real quick. But I don't know what know, it man. is. And, there's, and there's nothing on it's, there that says what it's you, made from. It's got to be something that, like, when is, it interacts with the oils on your skin or the oils oh, don't allow it to, like, stay on. Is your bank like the mafia? Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, you know, I told you not to talk about that off, on the episode, No one knocks John. off old Tony. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, magnet bomb. The bomb shaped like a magnet. That's from uh, Leon the Professional. Ah. I've never seen that one. Is it oh, good? It's amazing. Is that the one with... Uh, with uh, Jean Reno and um, Natalie Portman and um, Gary Oldman. Thank you, Gary Oldman. I was like, why can I not remember his name? He's one, yeah. of, my He's one of my favorite actors. Ha I Did He's he get amazing. a nomination for an Oscar for Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy? Oh, I don't know. Because if he did, that's his first. Which is that's the thing horrifying. He's he's like he's like too good of an actor that like he's not noticed in his roles. Yeah, <laughs> like I, he's I he's think. either like I think he's fantastic, but I feel like the Academy considers him the greatest B at B list actor of all time or that's something. Such a like, shame. 
He's, Which is shocking. He's so good. I think he's my favorite actor. I love him in everything. Was it Jean Baptiste Emmanuel Zerg? Yeah, he, uh, Zorg. Zorg. Yeah, close. Zerg, Zerg <laughs> is the one from Toy Story. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no, like he was great in Fifth Element. He's fantastic in the bat in the Nolan trilogy yep. of Batman movies. Uh, uh, he's fucking, I actually liked him in Lost in Space, despite the hammy acting. He's fucking serious black. That's yeah. true. Like, yep. He's he. Uh, I have never seen him in a movie I didn't like. He's um, although I haven't seen Tiptoes, so that could change. What's the f- What's the dude's name in uh, True Romance? Like Driz- Drix or something oh, like I that? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen True he's Romance. He's like the, the like pimp drug dealer. Ooh, I don't he's know. He's got man. like dreadlocks and shit. Like it's like totally like. He in Tiptoes, know he him. plays a small person. What? Tiptoes. He plays he plays a dwarf. I don't. I've never seen Tiptoes. It's. One, I only found out about it because it was a cracked video basically <laughs> saying, by the way, guys, this movie exists. It's Matthew McConaughey. Oh, damn. And I forget the woman who's in it. Shit, I forget who it is. Uh, but the two of them Drexel. are... Drexel? Yes, Drexel. Him and Drexel. Uh, they <laughs> <laughs> True romance. I, was just, I think it's uh, Drexel. But the, it's the two of them, and they're... And they're Married and they're going to have a baby, and only once she's pregnant does he does he mention that his he comes from a family of dwarves. That's kind of a dick move. Yeah, a little bit of a dick move. So, like it never came up. I guess the idea he's, he's a, he was ashamed of it or something. But like she keeps slipping and saying like midget and stuff, which is offensive. And uh, he keeps correcting her and is like, "They're not midgets. They're dwarves." Like is trying to wake offensive? her up a bit. And if it is, why is it midget offensive? is offensive? I think because it's just used in a. It, traditionally used is used in a derogatory fashion huh. uh, but then suddenly she decides that she does want that she she can keep the baby she's gonna do this she's gonna stick with it doesn't matter if the baby's a dwarf and suddenly he decides no I can't do this and like gets out of there but like Gary Oldman plays Matthew McConaughey's brother a dwar- as a dwarf, a dwarf. Uh, also Peter Dinklage is in the movie as like a total asshole <laughs> jackass guy and he's dating uh oh god I forgot her name. Um I think it's like Rosanna Arquette or something. Rosanna? Yeah, I don't know. Or like no, you'd... Patricia Arquette. Sorry, wrong Arquette. I'm thinking think a little Dido. I don't know who that is. Dido is no, no, the no, only I don't know who Patricia Arquette oh. is. She's all I know is that I'm she is that one of uh, Courtney she, Cox's ex-husband's sisters. Is she a babe? Eh. <laughs> I was never that. Whoops. I was never that into her. There we go. The um, the song, the song Rosanna by Dido is about her other sister Rosanna, who was dating one of the band members. Huh. Uh. They joked about the uh, on I love the eighties. I think it was. They joked about like you know. I think they really missed out. They could have gone with some of the other arquettes. Patricia, Patricia. <laughs> and then they had other people talking. They came back to Oh David, Oh <laughs> David. I would, Dido, if you're still out there, I would listen to a song with you. You know, serenading David Arquette. Yeah. Uh, make it happen, please. Yeah. Well, you know what, Dido? Why don't you come hang out with us at the deep yeah, end? Yeah, we'll hang out down here. Together. We'd love to have you. Oh my lord! Which, uh, which Dido are we talking about? Is there more than one? The ancient poet or the pop singer? <laughs> the pop singer. <laughs> I don't think Aristotle's coming up to talk about David Schwimmer anytime soon. So, but if he wants to, if he wants to, Aristotle, if you're out there and you want to come on the D pad, please uh, throw us throw us a tablet, an e tablet, uh, or you know, Wait, who is this a vellum scroll? About? But don't throw it because it probably who is this it'll break. Right now? Yeah. Aristotle, if he wants to come on, literally the, show. the worst person in the world. I oh. hate Aristotle. Absolutely what's terrible. What's so bad about him? Why? He has a cool we'll name. We'll get into it later. Uh, Can we get into it now? Uh, maybe we'll get into it tomorrow. We'll see you guys later. Oh, okay.